Hello everyone, it's Gwathorn from Gwathorn's Games and today I'm going to be running Dugnak Unleashed which is part of the Isengard uh, cluster of instances. It's a three man and it's limited to level 75. A brave band of adventurers. Think you that this drain is long abandoned? You cannot imagine what lies ahead. So, the uh, I'm, I'm running it with a lawmaster, level 138, but it's essentially a uh, got a lot of area of effect attacks and runs a bit of some extra damage over time and some range extension so so it's, it's basically a lot of range damage area of effect damage um i'll just take that and i'll show you the actual build itself so i'm running red line with a little bit of uh blue to get induction spill induction skills a bit faster um, but other than that, it's it's a fairly straightforward red line build. Okay, so let's go and do this. So there's there's a lot of uh, things in uh, Dugnak Unleashed. The idea is to gradually get Dugnak out. You can so see here. That's right, they caught him in a cave on the edge of the forest. I was told he slaughtered 30 orcs when they were trying to get him in a cage. He didn't look that mean to me, more like a walk pup. Okay, so... He will get out. He's breaking out! Not a chance. That cage is solid stick. There he goes. Dog, knock, knock, cage. Okay, so that is the aim of the instance to drive Dugnack out of this area. Now, this, first of all, you can see a little bit more about it, but you need to this is one of the most game um, what can you put how can you describe it um, okay so essentially what you've got to do is find out where he is so he's over there you've got to load up the ballista for him and aim it at him so, if he hasn't moved, which is quite likely to have done, no, he's still there. Okay, so I'll put it up there and I'll fire it. Metal sticks, no so, stop, dog, dog. did some damage. So now I've got to go and pick up another one. And there's no, there's no fighting in this other than the, the little mobs that come through. And I've got a pet here that's going to take care of those. So, I'm not really worried about any of that. But now we've got to work out where he is on this one. He's over there. So we just run the blister over and fill that up. Make sure he's still there. He is. And fire it. Dealing metal sticks, no stop, dog, dog. Yeah, and we just keep doing that until he decides that he wants to leave the area. So I'll, I'll keep doing that. I'll let the pet take take control of what's going on. Where is he gone now? He's going to be in one of these two positions. If you run past one of these ballista, there he is, if you run past one of these ballista then uh, it automatically loads. So, yep. So there's only three, that you, three locations you can shoot him from and uh, it's just a matter of finding which one is the most appropriate. As long as you don't, as long as he doesn't move between the two locations, between two locations as you're firing, you should be fine. So let's see where he's gone this time. There he is. 
So I got the blister over there. Has he moved? Uh, he's not quite in the right spot, but I'll do it anyway. Dirty metal sticks, no stop, dog dog. Now he's moving again. You can see his hit points, his morale is gradually going down. It's really nice having a uh, a pet to do all of, take care of all of these little guys. Dirty metal sticks, no stop, dog dog. And let's go and get another one. Can't get down there. Uh, all you can do is pick up the blister and fire them. Uh, let's see where he's gone this time. Uh, he's still at one of those two locations. There he is. Let's fire it. Missed it. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He's driven into a rampage, and now he's going. So he runs out there, knocks that down, and runs out to the next segment. So now we're going to the next section. Okay, so here he is coming in. Now we have to knock his hit points down a little bit more so let's go and do it the second second phase of all of this uh, I'm still going to use the pet to take care of anything that attacks me but the idea is that you set fire to the uh, everything all, all of the explosives that are next next to him so here we go Got those all taken care of those. Get rid of these while I'm here. Now, to do that, you can't just tick on. There, there are torches over here. Oh, I've got aggro, haven't I? Grab a torch. Run over to where he is and set it off. That one will do. So he's taken some damage from the fire. Go grab another. Grab another torch. You can see his hit points. He was 2.8 million. He's now down to 1.5. Let's go and do another one. Same thing, same location. We'll take this one this time. Okay. So you drove him from the outbuilding. So he's running out now. So that's the second phase done. Now we move on to the third. Okay. So the third phase of getting Dugnuck out. Quiet now, you filthy troll. Your escapades are at an end. Now that this rather large problem has been dealt with, I'm afraid you three must face a horrific death. Die at my hand! I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so, once that's cleared, He will move on to the next section and he'll bust his way through and move on to the next phase. Now I'm going to just get that reward while I'm here, the small chest, and we'll move on to the last of the phases. Well, second last phase actually. So, now we're going to get attacked. The whole idea is to take these down and then pick up the bucket of slop and place it in the right spot. So you can see where it is from where it's flashing. Put it in there. 
come back out and he'll he'll attack it and move on to the next location get rid of these and then we'll go get the next bucket of slop that comes through and that'll go over to the left up to the left over there but here comes the youth so I want the butcher, I haven't got any butchers in this, so I'll just take these guys out. There's the butcher over there. There's the bucket of slop. Oops, pick up the bucket, let the pet take care of everything else. Wasn't able to pick it up in time. Okay. Let's wait again. Here comes the butcher. There's the bucket of slop. Pick it up. Carry it down. Put it in. Yep, here he comes. Okay, no, we don't want that. We want him to follow me. To the actual location where I can get him out. Run it in, turn it around, there he goes, he'll break that down and move on to the next section. So now we wait for the next butcher to come out. I'll take these guys out while I'm here. The pet should be able to do it, but I'm using a bog guardian because of its range. It's a mountain guardian, it's actually got a, a cosmetic on it. But so the next one is here. You can see it flashing. So we just have to wait for a butcher to come in. Here comes the butcher. Take it out. Get the bucket of slop. And move it over to this location so that he can make his way out. Okay, so that's 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 that phase gone, and here we are in Isengard. So, next thing to do is take him on. Straight fight. No other places you can go. Okay, downstairs, and there he is. So he started off at 2.8 million, he's now down to half a million. And it's just a matter of burning him down. Stunned me. And that's it. There we are. I've got the I've got the uh, deed for completing tier one. And there's the chest. Okay, and that is Dagnak Dagnak Unleashed. Thank you everyone for watching. And you'll see that what I've got is just general general gear, just leveling gear, some of it from the den, some of it from the assault on Durstock, um, but and some of it burnt from burnt bought from the auction house. But it's just basic gear. Okay, thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.